The American Express green card is ending its 60,000 point sign up bonus. So I went online, I tried to get the card and I got the dreaded Amex pop-up jail notification. If you're not sure what it is over the next few minutes, I'm gonna tell you what pop-up jail is, how I got in it and what I'm doing to get out of it. If you're not sure what the Amex pop-up jail is, consider yourself lucky. I feel like if you go on Reddit, everybody is in Amex pop-up jail. I've also seen a few YouTube videos about it as well. So what is the Amex pop-up jail? Well, here's my definition of it. It's when in the American Express algorithm determines based on unknown criteria that you are not eligible for certain welcome offers on specific cards. So that's my definition. Here is what Amex has to say. This is the exact screen that I got when I applied for the green card earlier today. It says, we consider your history with credit card balance transfers, your history as an American Express card member, and the number of credit cards that you've opened and closed and other factors. Uh, so there's a little bit of information there, but it's also fairly ambiguous. Like what does it mean when it says they consider your history as an American Express card member. That could mean a whole lot of things. What's interesting about this is that this pop-up jail notification comes up before they run the application. So this is before a pull on your credit, which means they're not actually looking at your credit. They might actually look at how many accounts you have open, but they are really looking at your behavior here more than anything else. So let's speculate a little bit. What does it mean when they say they're considering your history as an Amex card member? To be clear, this is speculation because beyond that screen, Amex has not defined what they're actually looking for when they're looking into your history. But I'm gonna give a few examples of things that I think they might be looking at. And the first one is fairly easy. I think the first reason that you might find yourself in pop-up jail for any particular card would be that you've already gotten that card in the past and you've already earned a welcome bonus from it. And this card has a once in a lifetime rule in their language. If you meet all of these criteria, maybe for the MX Platinum card, for example, uh, you will be ineligible for a welcome offer in the future because the MX Platinum has a once in a lifetime rule. So in my circumstance, I got the MX Platinum in 2021. Uh, I no longer have it because I canceled it a year later. I'll talk about that more in a second. Uh, but as of now, because of its once in a lifetime rule language, I am ineligible to get the MX Platinum uh, welcome offer in the future. So this one makes a lot of sense. And I don't think anybody's arguing this because this is a rule that's been in place. It's part of the terms and conditions of the Platinum card. So this is not a shock to anyone. The other reasons that Amex might give you the pop-up jail, uh, these are where massive speculation really does come in. And this is just a lot of educated guesses. But the overarching statement that I wanna say is that the algorithm has determined you are a bad customer. Uh, now, what do I mean by bad? It means that you're not valuable to American Express. There are, I'm sure, a lot of reasons why this might exist, but here are just a few of them. Maybe you don't spend enough on their cards. You have low spend, so you're not uh, using their cards too often. Uh, as the notification said, maybe you're regularly opening and closing accounts. Maybe you show a pattern of churning credit cards where you get the welcome offers and then you close the account immediately after. Uh, maybe they're looking at how many Amex cards you presently have and they're just kind of doing some common sense assessment that if you have X amount of cards and you're doing X amount of spend, there's probably not a lot of validity that you're going to massively increase their spend with them just by getting another card. They're perhaps considering how many sign-up bonuses they've given you in the last few years. Maybe they're looking at how many credit pools you've had from other issuers. Honestly, this list could be endless and all of it factors into your history as an American Express card member. So honestly, it really could be anything and all we can do is guess and speculate. So why am I in Amex pop-up jail? Well, I do have a few additional theories on this and all of them go back to what I just said. Uh, I think I am not a valuable customer to American Express. 
Why? Well, for one, I presently have two cards with them, and honestly, I put very little spend on these cards. I have the Amex Gold and the Amex Blue Cash every day. Uh, the Amex Gold card is one of my dining cards, but I don't use it exclusively. Um, I do not use it for groceries because uh, we do primarily our grocery shopping at Walmart, which I cannot use my um, Amex Gold card. That is not uh, considered a grocery store. So um, I don't actually use my Gold card a whole lot. For my Blue Cash Everyday card, I'm primarily only using it for the Disney bundle. And so there's not a lot of spend going on these cards. Beyond that, I'm a customer who pays off my cards every single month. Uh, I've never paid an ounce of interest to American Express. And let's be honest, American Express is a bank. They are in the interest of making money off of their customers and they don't make a whole lot of money off of me. So that doesn't play into my best interest to get more welcome offers from them. I think the biggest factor though that might be playing into pop-up jail for me is the fact that I got the Amex Platinum in 2021. And in 2022, when the annual fee hit, I immediately canceled my Amex Platinum card. Uh, now this wasn't because I just wanted to uh, churn this credit card and just have it for year one and then totally get rid of it. Honestly, it was that I did not think I could get positive value in year two and beyond. They had just raised the annual fee to 695. And when I looked at the positive value I was getting from the perks of the card, it did not make sense for me to keep this card. I also remember telling the American Express rep that I thought the lounges were a little overcrowded, which I did think they were. And the lounges also didn't have a lot of food variety for my wife, who's gluten-free, dairy-free, which uh, just was disappointing. So with all of these factors, I decided to cancel the card. But in the eyes of Amex, I'm a customer who had this card for one year and then canceled it after getting that welcome bonus and not paying even the second year annual fee. So um, I don't think that looks good for me. Um, so does it suck that I'm in pop-up jail? Yeah. Do I understand a few of the reasons why I could be considered a not valuable customer to Amex and why they would put me in it? Yeah. Uh, do I think it's right that they do that? I don't know that it's my job to speculate on whether it's right or wrong. Obviously, they have the right to do whatever they want. I think my biggest concern with Amex pop-up jail is that we might start to see this across the board more and more across other issuers. I mean, we already know about things like the Chase 524 role, uh, but there's a ton of other roles that we also have to keep track of the Bank of America 234 rule, the uh, Capital One 1 in 6 rule. I mean, all of these roles, and some of them you might be more familiar with than others, uh, we have to keep track of these in order to be successful in the credit card hacking community. And so now we're just having an issuer come right out front and say, hey, based on criteria that you guys do not know, you're not going to be able to get this welcome offer. And I just am nervous that we're gonna to start to see that more and more from other issuers. Now, is it good that we don't have to do a credit card pull? Yeah, I guess, but um, what I don't want to happen is more criteria preventing me from getting the welcome bonus, and uh, I just feel like that's gonna keep happening more and more. For right now, I think the main one we're concerned about is how can I be a valuable customer in the sight of American Express? And so how do I plan to do that? How do I plan to increase my chances of getting out of pop-up jail. Well, the number one way I think I can do that is by increasing my spend on these cards. So as I said before, <clears throat> my Amex Gold is one of my dining cards. I've decided to make it my primary dining card. I, I should have done that already. It's just uh, sometimes I'm getting a sign-up bonus or I don't have it on me, but I'm gonna keep the Amex Gold in my wallet at all times. It's gonna be my default card in my Apple wallet, and this is gonna become my primary dining card uh, for the Amex Blue Cash every day. We're gonna start to order groceries with it, um, not actually from a grocery store, but still through Walmart, but Walmart online, so that it'll trigger the online retailer 3X back. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing with Sam's Club. And if I can increase the spend on both of these cards over a season, 
I think American Express is going to say, okay, uh, he's not canceling the gold card the way he did the platinum card. He's increasing spend on both of these cards. And uh, so maybe they'll look at me as a more valuable customer. I'm not totally sure, but this is really the best I can do. Um, so how long is it going to take me to get out of pop-up jail? I have no idea. Will this plan work? I have no idea, uh, but it is the best I can come up with at the moment. So here's what I need to know. Are you presently in Amex pop-up jail? Uh, have you ever been in Amex pop-up jail and how did you get out? I would love to know. Drop your data points in the comments below. Uh, and if you could help out the channel by hitting the like button and subscribing, I'd appreciate it a whole lot. And let's tackle this together. Let's get out of jail together. And until next time, I'll see you later.